Shocking new details have emerged about the case of Ruby Frank. The case of her terrorizing her children was already pretty bad, but the new evidence that has come to the public eye has shaken the entire internet. People can't believe that a mother could treat her children this way and that it took this long for the authorities to take some action. But there is one thing that everyone is happy about, and that is that this case will bring awareness to a lot of people about how they should never believe something a person on the internet tells them. And if her neglecting and terrorizing her children were bad enough already, according to the new evidence from sources, we now know that she was also part of a weird cult that involves many other mothers and new parents. And she says, well, what's moral for you isn't going to be moral for other parents. You know, you're complaining about this song, but I've got 30 other parents that just think it's wonderful. And I said, it's what's moral according to God. So the scary part is that there are still people out there who believe in her bad parenting policies. The only good thing about this whole drama is that the case is finally coming to an end and Ruby Frank is meeting her deserved punishment soon, and it's all thanks to her daughter and her neighbors. We are going to talk about this case and all of the new evidence that insider sources have given us in today's video. But before we get to all of that, if you're new here, you're watching the Celebrity Circle channel. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this one in the future. A lot of you might already know about the case of Ruby Frank, the YouTuber who is currently getting cancelled for the way she was treating her children. A lot of people are complaining about the fact that if she was going to treat her children this way, or if she was having problems with her mental health, she should not have had so many kids in the first place. But that does not excuse her behavior. As if those children weren't going through enough already at the hands of their mother, it turns out that their father wasn't the best person either. Not only that, the children had to go through all of the tournament and their father left not too long ago after their mother kicked him out of the house. After the father left, the kids and the mother were living with Ruby's business partner, who's also involved in this case, and is currently being questioned along with Ruby. Now there's a lot going on in this story, so we really advise you to hold on tight to your chairs, grab some popcorn and listen up as we tell you everything there is about this case and all of the new evidence that emerged that proves that Ruby Frank is a deadbeat mother. And not only that, she is also a child abuser. I want my kids to get off my back <laughs> because I want to do what I want to do. I want to yeah. be able to go to Target. I want to be able to shop. I want to be able to have a moment of silence where I can just think. It was all about me mm -hmm. and I made my kids responsible for that. And so I allowed them to have what they wanted. But before we tell you more about this case and what the evidence says, make sure to share this video with a friend who might enjoy our content. Imagine this, a sweet white woman living in the suburbs with her husband and her one hell of a family. No one could have ever suspected what was going on inside that house. The children looked happy, Ruby looked happy, and her husband looked happy. But that was all just for keeping up appearances and the truth behind that fancy facade was scarier than anything you would see in a horror film. Ruby was involved in everything that a suburban housewife is expected to be involved in. She cooked for her neighbors. She was nice to the people around her. She went to school meetings. Everything was perfect and everyone thought that her children were blessed with one of the best mothers ever. But then one of her mistakes exposed her and we are so glad that it did. You see, she ran a YouTube channel with the name of Eight Passengers, where she documented the life of her family and her interactions with her children. In the beginning, this channel was pretty wholesome and honestly kind of cute as well. But then after it gained a lot of traction and a lot of popularity from the media, people think that Ruby went off the rails and started doing anything and everything she could to mold her family so that her YouTube channel generated as much profit as it could. This is not the best course of action because she started mistreating her children and it went from zero to a hundred real quick. Eve has been amazingly well behaved for being in town. But for you like... yelled at me. <laughs> Shh. The fact that I yell at my kids is a secret. We don't want our viewers to know. That never happens in my house. I never yell. People started noticing how in her videos she wasn't exactly congenial or kind to her children. It didn't even feel like she was related to them, and it felt like she was just their manager who was trying to manipulate them like a puppeteer. And by the way, for those of you who don't know, her oldest daughter is 20, so all of her other children are young and gullible. 
and the kind of abuse that Rudy was putting them through is going to have long-term effects on their minds. As soon as people started noticing these signs of abuse, they started to report her. But the people on the internet weren't the only people reporting her. Turns out her neighbors were also concerned about her children. According to the report from news sources, the neighbors had been trying to contact Child Protective Services to take care of the children for a very long time. They had heard noises every now and then coming from the house and rumors about how Ruby was an abusive parent, and they decided to take matters into their own hands. Now you might be wondering if the neighbors kept reporting why didn't this issue get resolved a lot earlier? Well, that is one question in this case that no one seems to figure out. We'll talk about this more, but later on in the video. Right now, let's focus on what these reports say about the way Frank treated the children. Hey, this is Ruby. I was wondering, is Brooke available to babysit? Sorry. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. What a good idea for spring break. Well, good. I will call her again. I am not taking Eve, babe, Eve, unless you come and give me a huge apology. According to these new reports, she would use food as a punishment and reward system. So if one of her kids did something that she did not agree with, she would not give them food until they had realized that they had made a mistake. Not only does this way of punishment and reward create an unhealthy relationship with the food for the children, it also messes with their head a lot to leave the house clean and my kids are literally starving. I hesitate to say this because it's gonna sound like I'm like a mean barbarian, but I told the kids, I said, I'm not even gonna let you eat breakfast <laughs> until you get your chores done. There's more to this case. Yup, you heard that right, it gets worse. It turns out that Ruby Frank was in a sort of cult with many other moms from the suburbs. Not only that, but there was also another channel called Connections, and allegedly a group chat which was also called Connections. The authorities found this group chat and found some very disturbing content on there about how to parent your children. And let us just say that none of these policies were good. So not only was she treating her own children in the worst way she could, but she was also encouraging other moms from the suburbs to do the same. But it turned into a literal cult, where mothers would exchange problems they were facing with their children and other mothers would suggest solutions to those problems which were not solutions and were just abuse. And guess who was the leader of that group? It was Ruby Frank. Finally, Ruby Frank has been arrested by the authorities after her eldest daughter, who's in college, called the authorities after gathering enough information to prosecute her. I am so upset. I am so angry. I could scream. The case is still going on and there has not been a verdict so far, but the children are safe and under Child Protective Services. What do you think is going to happen next in this case? Let us know all your thoughts and predictions down in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one in the future. And with all of that said, as always, we will see you in our next video.